Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Our Dodge Ram has the standard mirrors on it. These aren't towing mirrors. So we want to add some 1A Auto upgraded towing mirrors. The ones that we have are direct plug and play. They'll have puddle lights, just like the original. They'll be heated, and they'll have the power fold option. So the direct plug-in. So for these mirrors to work, you'll have to have these exact options. There's no way to wire them in to upgrade them. I'm just gonna turn the ignition on. You can see the power fold. And our replacement mirrors that are tow mirrors are gonna work in the same exact way. And we'll show you how to install those. We use our plastic prying tool. You can get these from 1aauto.com so you don't damage your plastic trim or the paintwork. We need to pry off this little trim piece that's right at the top here. I'm just gonna kinda flex it up and then gently pry, pop this out comes right out, has a couple clips. We'll put that aside so we don't lose it. You can see there's three nuts holding on the mirror. However, the harness goes underneath the door where it's plugged in, so the door panel has to come off to get to that harness. I'm gonna start by taking out the master window switch that also has the mirror controls in it. We again, use the plastic prying tool, get up underneath it, just pry it up. It comes out pretty easily. Whoops, I hit the lock button. There's a red plastic lock. You can use the plastic prying tool to pry it up, to unlock it, and then push in on the gray tab. And the connector will come about. There's a hidden Phillips head screw behind this little piece of trim. So I'm gonna use the plastic prying tool again Try to sneak it under here. It might be too thick. If the plastic prying tool is too thick, you can use a very small flat-bladed screwdriver and carefully pry it in there. And you want to pry it down, and it will pop out of the clips and then kind of levers down off of where it slides in. <laughs> that trim removed, you can see the Phillips head screw. Just use a Phillips head screwdriver, take it out. that aside so I can reuse it. Around the edge of the door panel, there are six T20 torque screws. They are plastic torque screws. They're basically just little uh, clips that screw in there and then spread it out to hold the panel. Instead of having traditional clips that you don't see that are behind the panel that would push into the door metal, these have these little screws. You undo them and then we can pull the door panel off. But just make sure that you get them all out so you don't go ripping them apart. Use a T20 Torx screwdriver. I'm gonna go along the edge here and take these all out. Once they start to unscrew, they'll probably get to a point where they're loose and you can pull them right out. You're also gonna to wanna to grab the little grommet that they're in. I'll do that after I remove them all. take one of our trim clip tools that has a little U cutout in it and try to pry this out so I can reuse them. Put my finger on it so it doesn't go flying across the shop here. Just go along the edge, pull them all out. You can't pull the door panel off without these removed. You can either break them or they'll go flying everywhere. And here's the last one. Let's get this trim tool under here. 
These can be a bit tricky. Sometimes you go underneath the trim. Oop, that one flew out. With all those out, the door panel should lift straight up and off of the door panel, the steel door panel. Pick it up. It clips around the door frame, so we're just lifting it up and off. You don't, you can't go too far because the handle's in here. You have to slide it off the handle. And then, of course, off the lock part. And there we have our door panels off. This is our mirror harness. We follow it down. And so we can see that it's going into this little junction block of wiring here. So these two get plugged in right here and here. There's a white and a black connector. I'm going to use that small flat bladed screwdriver to push the lock in and then pull the white connector out. Do the same for the black connector above it. Harness is clipped to the door panel. I'll try to carefully unclip it by pulling it really close to where it's clipped. It's uh, kind of like one of those Christmas tree clips. If it doesn't want to come out very easily, you can use a metal trim clip tool. Just gently pry on it. it. Then goes up and clips into the plastic here. And there's two tabs, they're really hard to see, but we're gonna push them together with some needle nose pliers. Try to reach up in here. Squeeze them together and work that out. So what's happening is I'm going up in and I'm squeezing these tabs together so that it pulls out from the holder there. Now our harness is disconnected, we move on to the mirror. So we've got the window down, it's probably best to do this with the window down the easiest way. There are three 10 millimeter nuts holding the mirror on. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. I'm using a deep socket. You could probably use a regular socket and an extension, but the deep socket just lets me get in here without using one. Start by loosening them. I'm not going to take them all the way off. I'm also going to support the mirror with my other hand so it doesn't fall. And let's get this one loose here. It's kind of inside of this rubber weather stripping, but I'll just finish it off with my fingers. I'll unthread it all the way out. I'll put it aside so I don't lose it. I can thread these off with my fingers now. Put these nuts aside. And we'll feed the harness through the hole and work the mirror off. It does have a clip at the top, so you might have to give it a little bit of a nudge just to break it free. So that clip holds it to the body while you're tightening the bolt so it doesn't fall. And we'll just feed our harness to the opening. And that is our original mirror. Here's our original mirror we took off our truck. It's heated, powered, doesn't have power fold. Uh, the driver's side has the ambient temp sensor in it. This is the replacement mirror from 1A Auto. It is black textured, has the turn signal in it, has the ambient temp sensor, has the puddle light, which is actually on the original here. The puddle light's here and the turn signal's here. This is power heated and power folding, just like the original, and it flips up for towing. That's part's manual, and then you can flip it down when you don't want to use it like that. Otherwise, the Mounts are exactly the same, and the harness is the same. These mirrors are plug and play. So 
So we'll take our new mirror and we'll feed the harness to the opening, the outside of the door. There's a clip at the top. It's going to clip into the body. We're going to guide this in and hold on to it because they are pretty heavy. Clip it in. I've got the hardware in my hand. I'm going to catch this one here. Just thread it on finger tight. And I'll start the other ones so the mirror doesn't fall off. So we'll tighten these down uh, evenly with our 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. don't have to kill these because you don't want to pull the metal studs out of the plastic. So if you feel them get tight, just stop. The harness will clip in the same exact way as the original. Push it right into here. And then run it down. And these are keyed. They'll only fit in one way. The white one was on the bottom clicks into place and the black one goes in the top. Clicks into place. And that part of the installation is complete. You can reinstall your door panel. This procedure is nearly identical for the passenger side. It'll just look a little different because you worked on the passenger side, but same exact way, you'll take the door panel off, replace your mirror, unplug it, plug the new one back in, and you'll be good to go. To reinstall this door panel, you've got hooks on the inside of it, all along it, and they correspond with matching hooks and slots on the inner part of this door panel that's bolted to the metal part of the door. So when you go to put this on, we're gonna wanna guide your main uh, wiring harness through for the master window switch. You have to lift this up Put the door lock in. If the rubber grommet pops out, that's okay. It easily pops back in. Because then you're going to have to maneuver the door handle through the opening here. And I want to lift this up. Because the top edge will hook into here. And push that rubber grommet back in this top edge caught and sort of lift it up. At the same time, I'm pushing it toward the door panel. I also want to line up this edge out here. So this needs to move this way. I need to go up some more. I'm just gently flexing up on the door panel into that channel. Pushing against it and then trying to hook it into all the hooks. There's one there. Do the same on this side. All right. That seems to be caught. You can push this rubber grommet down. Okay. Reuse all our plastic push clips. They'll go in here. Go along the edge of the door, install those. Take our T20 Torx. We'll just screw these in. Can't really over tighten them, they'll just keep spinning. What you're doing is when you tighten them, you're spreading out those clips so they lock in place. Just repeat this for all of them. They might just push in on their own, but you can use this, the Torx bit to install them. Reinstall 
Phillips head screw that came out of here. If you'll get tight, I'll stop. Put the little panel back in. This slot will lock into the bottom, just like that, and then push up and lock in place. And reinstall the master switch in the correct orientation. It'll go in place, push the red lock down, and then we'll push it back into the door panel. Reinstall the trim piece at the top here. Driver's side is complete. Just repeat the process for the passenger side. Turn the ignition on here. Actually, you can adjust the so the mirror in and out, up and down. It does have heat? That's hard to show on video though. And this outside mirror, you'd set to where you want it. It's manual for towing. And of course, you can flip them up and use them like that. And the turn signals. Let's see if I can get the puddle light to come on. Opening the door. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.